what we're doing on our homestead today is we're making pretty black candy apples. So what you're going to need is you're going to need some, obviously, apples, some sugar, which is two cups there, three-fourths of a cup of water, half a cup of uh, corn syrup. I have some food coloring or food dye, popsicle sticks, some sprinkles, and some bags and to put them in once they're done. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine the sugar, the water, the corn syrup, and the food dye into the pot and I'm going to bring it to a boil and I'm going to raise the temperature from um, what it is now to between 300 and 315 to do that whole crack candy stage. So I'm just going to bring you to the stove. I have a cold. I uh, was out in the rain the other night and I think I have a cold so Pay no attention to the sound of my voice because obviously I have a cold. <clears throat> so I'm just going to bring this to the stove and I'll bring you back. And yes, I say I'll bring you back a lot, but it's my thing. Two cups of sugar. Three-fourths of a cup of water. half a cup of corn syrup and if you notice we have the candy thermometer hooked up that's the best way to make candy because there's no guessing if you're using a thermometer same with meat if you're uh, cooking meat you should probably use a thermometer if you want to be completely accurate because you don't want to take any chances so just going to grab the uh, the um, food coloring, which we're using black because I want to make black candy apples today. So we'll just bring it back. Nice, beautiful black color. Ooh, it looks like a witch's cauldron. Isn't that appetizing? Okay. So what we're just going to do now is make sure your apples are covered in the uh, black candy. And then we're just going to put them on the uh, sheet right here that we already have lined with the uh, parchment paper. So we're just going to continue. So after they sit for a few